Well, I wonder who saw this coming. Hello there, everybody. Sabar Night 2, aka Nightmare, and welcome to a Let's Play of Off. This has been a title that I've been extremely curious in ever since it was recommended to me a while back. And I don't know what it is. I was told that it's a very strange sort of RPG, and I guess you could say that it seems a little off. Feel free to hate me for that terrible pun. Um, this, since we're still kind of working a little bit on Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, and I'm just trying to clear up some side products, I thought we could probably add this while we're trying to finish that up. Because we just finished Metroid Other M, and we kind of need another game to kind of fit into the slot. Otherwise, the videos are going to be a little bit unbalanced to where there's... Um, I mean, do you really want to sit through three episodes of Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition in a row? Although that might be actually be pretty good for some people. I just want to kind of keep variety on here. Because as soon as I finish Fire Red Rocket Edition, and as soon as I finish this, I'm going to be reworking my entire, like, let's play schedule of sorts. To try to make things a little bit more balanced, so that way I'm not taking on as many side projects as I possibly can, you know what I mean? Because I, I realize some people may not like that. Anyway. I've... Getting this game is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. But I've been told that this is a very interesting sort of experience for an RPG. I believe its original version was actually French. Like, it was a, it's a French-made game. Which, it is using a model of RPG Maker that I'm not familiar with. Because I've got, like, MV. And I think this one was called... Ah, crap. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but, um... RPG VXT or RT... Eh, whatever. It's an RPG Maker game, and me personally, I like those. So, oh, one more thing. The thumbnail template was created by Nute. And I'm just gonna casually show this off a little bit here. I think it actually looks pretty damn fucking good. I gotta say, I like myself in this sort of batter-esque outfit, which... I'm still kind of wondering what this whole circle thing is going on here, but... Yeah. Found the illustrated by her. Be sure to go check out her artwork in the description down below. I would highly appreciate it if you did. Anyway. Alright. The translation team would like to dedicate this third and final version of the English off translation to the memory of Felix the Judge. Rest in peace. We love you. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Caution. It is possible that certain scenes in this game may prove shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. The soundtrack and sound effects of Off, created by alias Conrad Coldwood, are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Unproductive fun time. Enter my name. Alright. Will do. Oh. Spacebar. Got it. I'm going to be playing with keyboard, obviously, since this is an RPG Maker game. I'm pretty sure this never had control support to begin with, so... Alright. My name is Sabata. Yes, it is. I am a... Oh, interesting. There's a third... I'd rather not say. That's actually pretty interesting. I kind of wonder... Okay. I'm, I'm really curious about what kind of, like, dialogue change will be with every option here. That's, that's interesting. I'm a boy. Alright. Welcome, Sabata. Thank you. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter is on a mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you both out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Off. Hmm. Oh, look at my face there. Uh, <laughs> okay. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Okay. Wow, I gotta say, this, this looks really funky. I'm a little black and white figurine. I can't seem to get over there, whatever those floating boxes are. Oh, my eyes. Ugh. Zone zero. 
Okie dokie. Uh, hi. Uh, oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mmm. Uh, hi there. Uh, I, I like your magnificent smile there, good sir. Um. Uh, <laughs> you kind of look like a Cheshire cat. I think that's probably what I want to go with here. Because I see the ears, I see the tail. Kind of put me in the mind of a cat. Your little sprite over there just looks so innocent, and then we get to see your portrait. It's like, holy fuck! <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, God, what do I do with you? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, um. There cannot be any living beings in Zero. Hence, I deduce that you are a pure figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I'm aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. I'm the batter. I've been entrusted with a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, although it was not the body I was addressing, but the soul that it harbors. What is your name, controller? Me? His name is Sobata. He can't talk to us. Okay! However, he can see and hear everything. Even though you two are but an imaginary specter in my eyes. Let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Sobata. I believe we need your help. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. Except for the ones that are allergic to them. In which case, I deeply feel for them. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not entirely sure if Oishi's voice actually fits for him. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. I already... Mm. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide to this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Wait, 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 come back! What was that, a chest? A luck ticket has been found. Okay. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Oh, right, uh... Yeah, okay, there's how I access the, uh, pause menu is escape, okay. Competence? Whip, status, waiting. The batter. Class pure. I'm guessing that means class. Purifier. Level 1, pure. HP 120 out of 120. CP 43 and 0 out of 736. Okay. What's object? Oh, items. Recovers a moderate amount of HP. Okay, how do I back out? Uh, escape? Okay, escape. That's gonna be interesting trying to get used to that. Competence. I don't see anything. Harold Bat. Offensive equipment for the batter. I don't have any defensive power. Attack 69. Nice. Defense 45, Esprit 45, and Agility 57. Esprit? Like ESP? Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Uh, the batter. Class, Savior. Nickname, Purifier. Okay. State, Pure. Level 1. Health points. Comp, comp points. Oh, maybe maybe it's like the comp, competency, maybe? There was an option in that in the menu. Hold on. Is it, comp, is it competence? Yeah, competence. Okay, so those must be competence points. Waiting. Active. Wait. I literally have no idea what that means. Okay. Hmm? Quite peculiar. Yes, it is. Okay, so I can't get around there, but I can go over here. Hi! Okay. Allow me to inform you that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you, in fact, be a person of flesh and blood? I think so. Then I was mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my fanciful fantasms. 
This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given to encounter in this place. I had incidentally concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. It is all too obvious that I was led astray. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories, hostile individuals might attack you most violently. The sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to acquaint you with the art of violent confrontation? Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, purification in progress. Oh, interesting little uh, battle sprite here. Okay. This is the battle screen. As you can observe, you'll find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. Combat, sorry. At the beginning of combat, a choice will be presented to you. You have to decide between attack and auto. Naturally, attack allows you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your choice, the computer will make the strategic decisions in your place, turning you into a simple spectator. But now it is time to make an attempt. Choose attack, select the batter, then choose attack anew to slay me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not restrain itself and I fear I would die, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay, um, attack. Excellent, dear supportive companion. Know that both the level of the batter and that of his opponent determine the impact of your assaults. It is also possible for you or your adversaries to slightly avoid the offensive moves you will exchange. Finally, on occasion, your concrete will may allow you to release a critical strike, causing teeth to fly in heaps. But let us proceed if you are willing to. You may have noticed that, when you first chose attack upon selecting the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Yeah? There, you have the choice between four new options. Attack lets you carry out a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special talents. Objects lets you access the inventory you are presently carrying. Finally, please the option of the coward. While I dehort from this alternative, know that only the batter may select it in his personal menu. So, let us attempt to utilize an item. Take this luck ticket and graciously use it on the batter's person. A luck ticket has been found. Jesus. Okay, objects. Luck ticket recovers a moderate amount of HP. But I have max HP though. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend, but there is one thing we have yet not yet to address. I am of course talking about competence. They are generally speaking special moves that trigger surprising effects. Okay, so there's special abilities. Okay. It may be that they are particularly powerful effects or such that they induce a resurgence of health points. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competence leads to a consumption of competence points. So I suggest that you use your skills if possible. Once your CP are consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if, by some mischance, you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before recovering some CP, your victory will be uncertain. But let us try right away. Choose competence and try using wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay. Competence. Wide angle. I didn't have that in the menu earlier. Okay. The Judge. A cryptic feline of odd appearance. HP 300, CP 30. No weaknesses or resistances. <laughs> you now know not only all about my attributes, but also the, about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked down for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. Okay. That was... This guy's quite wordy. 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about that. I mean, hell, I went through DS Eerie. That's wordy. From now on, you will be ready to dispose of all impure obstacles that dare appear in your lum luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. Jesus, he went fast. Oh. Okay. Um. I think the weather's nice outside. Quite peculiar. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. To pass through, it will be necessary to use your cerebral organ correctly. You know, the one bathing flabbably in your cranium. I think that these floating blocks correspond in some way or another to the symbols you can see on the wall. Hmm. Okay. Like a puzzle. Right? There we go. Okay. Uh, oof. Okay, what do we got here? How is that sound? Hmm. Weird. Is there a was that a, wait, what was that? Was that a purring noise? Is there a problem, oh dear charming hero? I cannot do everything in your place. I'm not your genitor, after all. Nonetheless, may I perhaps dare suggest you to activate some of those floating blocks more than once, if so required. So hurry! Solve me this intriguing obstacle in post haste, if you please. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me hear that again. Yeah, that sounded like a weird purring noise. Okay. One, two. Okay, I think I figured this out. I was, I was, okay, what, what the hell? Um, okay, okay, um. Let's see. One. Two. Three, four. Five. Six. Uh, eight. Eight. Two. Three. Okay, okay. Ooh, what are we here? <laughs> Finally, after all that effort, the long-awaited reward makes its entrance to the scene. Cat food? It's all goddamn good. Ah, it's so delicious. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Hmm. Oh! Hey! Got one. Okay. This one shook for a moment. Okay. Two, one. No. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to go through the other door over here. Maybe there's a hint. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to grab my sketchbook. Okay, let's see if I can solve this. Eh, get out of there, psych. 
Okay, so let's see what we got here. 448287C. 448287. Oh, C must mean clear. Kind of like a cat. Oh, it's kind of like a calculator. by process of elimination. Holy crap, I did it. Okay. I feel like I solved that incorrectly, but hot damn, at least I finally got that. I did a thing. Um. Ooh, hello. Oh. Hello. Here we have an accessory that will prove especially useful to your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube floating in the air, as you have probably noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from its ilk by the contrast of its clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying any sensible course of plastic arts. Do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from restoring the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness? The nothingness is a place of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try for yourself, in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and fly towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry yourself. I too travel much between the different zones of the world. Perhaps we will come to meet again. Ah, uh, by the by, take this. This item of a curious name will be the key that shall permit you to enter Zone 1. Have I clarified that you can, at any moment, consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? The Leo card has been found. Leo card? Oh, right, uh... Um... Is it a defensive item? No. Special? No. Uh. Oh! It's, uh. <laughs> not able to be seen, apparently. Allows access to zone one. Okay. Health points and components can be restored. Yes, I would like to save the game. Okay. Um. Return to the nothingness. I certainly weren't kidding that it's a vast nothingness. Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay, where is... Okay, zone one. What else do we have here? Two? Zone three. Okay, so these little spots of red are the zones. The room. By Tommy Wiseau? All right, uh, I guess let's head to zone one. Green! All right. Wait a minute, I'm level two? How did I, was it? 
did I level up from that encounter with the judge or something? Ah, uh, I lost the good number for my attack power. Oh. Okay. Hi. First off, the hell was that sound? Second, you look like you need a little bit of sleep. Tramway number one is a very useful means of transport to set to the different areas of zone one. Okay. What about that guy over there? Please select your destination. Damien? Okay. Zone one. Well, already I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. It's interesting. Tramway number two hasn't been coming for a long time. Damien. Hmm. So that's the name of this town. Hi. Um, uh, a visitor? Mm. I am welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I... who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Sobata. Hey, don't drag me into this! Um, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior per personnel. In any case, that's good. That means our requests have been approved. Uh, come, I'm going to explain your task. Whoa, what the hell am I looking at? Um, you are here in the smoke mines of Damien, in the south of zone number one. Okay. Here we send laborers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from this ground, bring trapped smoke from the depths. Using various tools, we put some of it into bottles, which the queen sends to the other zones. The queen? The rest of it flows free and forms the air that our lungs inhale and exhale. Uh, so we can live. Hmm. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. What? Oh, you mean like air, earth, water, fire? Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Smoke? Uh, there we are. And so, well, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? The, yes, there we go. Uh, there are many specters in the mines, and they are getting more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be good if you wouldn't go there. Because the regulations forbid access to the smoke mines for visitors. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, there's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went in there some time ago. And he saw something strange, he said. Uh, nothing like the usual. So I thought maybe that's the leader of the specters. And so, uh, there we are. If you accept, you'll go into the annex mine and kill the leader of the specters. Then the specters will disappear and we can work properly again. Uh, there we go. There we... Uh, do you have any questions? No. I mean, to be fair, I kind of have questions, but fine. Or sure, Jesus. Uh, great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. Me? I will wait for you here. I'm going to go over here. Hi. Soon I might be promoted. I'd be able to be to do surveillance in Alma. I'm anxious for that to happen. I'm gonna open this. A luck ticket has been found. 
Uh, well, do you understand? You go down into the Annex Tunnel and kill the leader of the Spectres. This way, after you're done, we can work again. That would be great. Hmm. Smoke as an element? Do they... So they, they need smoke to be able to breathe? Huh. <gasps> hey! Hey, dude! Well, well, who do we have here? Is that not so Bada and his charming jumping Jack the Bada? Might you be the Spectre's leader? D what? <laughs> dude, you just literally talked to him back... You know what, never mind. <laughs> no, no, certainly not. I'm only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I believe I know where the one you take for an ectoplasm can be found. The hell? To, be, to tell the truth, I am perplexed. I think it is one of those peculiar things called a spherical add-on. That circle? I have very well tried to appropriate it, but the operation has systematically failed. But I am thinking maybe you, one who is not a physical matter, will perhaps succeed in binding this spiritual entity to yours. Uh, okay. So what do I do with this? Add-on Alpha has joined... What? Join me? What an exceptionally intriguing phenomenon! I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough. Since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best possible use of it. Got it. The leader of the Spectres isn't here. Apologies, but I fear I have to respond in the negative. This add-on aside, I have not crossed paths with a single moving soul in this place. A add-on? A literal circle joined my party. I'm not sure whether I should be impressed or just utterly confused. I think I'm going to be both. Alpha. Class. Father. Nickname. Add-on. Uh, one. State. Pure. 61 attack. Defense. 48. E-spirit. 49. Offensive. Audacious. Symbol. Okay. There is nothing here. This is the sort of spot that I am particularly fond of. What you seek is certainly located elsewhere. Okay. Hey, I did the thing. Oh, you've returned! So, have you killed the... Uh, leader of the Spectres? No. He wasn't there. Oh. Oh, really? Hi. Bugger. Crap. Hey, well, then, uh, I believe that I'll uh, have to let you enter into the main skirt gorges then. Uh, but, um, the regulations are against it. All right, uh, uh, I suppose this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph five. So, uh, good, well, uh, the main mines are on the right. There. Have a little bit more confidence in yourself, buddy. Hmm. There are phantoms down there that keep us from working properly. But this is my break time anyway. What are you doing here? Are you part of the main inspection personnel? I fucking don't know at this point. I am... fairly confused. You've come to eliminate the specters? That's good news. I... What the fuck is that breathing noise that you guys are making? The lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors. And as everyone, everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms in all the tunnels. Be careful, sir. And besides, who has let you enter here? Normally the regulations prohibit external visitors. Well, um... Shut up. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I'm the voice of forgiveness that'll eliminate your ill-fated forms.
Well, shit. Prepare yourselves to receive my judgment. Get it. What the? What the hell is this music? Banger, but it feels like certain instruments don't match well together. Hmm. I am finding myself jigging to it. All right, let's go. All right, confidence, wide angle. Common, Spectre times eight, mysterious ectoplasmic incarnation. HP 10, CP zero, light resistance against smoke. Okay, I don't know how to do smoke, so cool. <laughs> Fucking ring. Jesus! Fucking go at it, boys! Just tear them up, boys! Go! Ow! I try to scan them, and they fucking hit zero? Try again, jackass! Ow! You're all that's left. Farewell. Adversaries purified. 400 experience points gained. For a single battle like that, I... Damn. Luck ticket, luck ticket, luck ticket. I got a lot of luck tickets. Damn. That's interesting for a first battle. This add-on is fighting by my side. Hm. That's useful. Let's purify the other galleries. Can I save? The yellow blocks don't allow you to return to the nothingness. Okay, so, dude, that's fine. That's... Hey, that's totally fine, honestly. Okay. Ugh. I'm getting the thick of this. Mm. Alright, let's kick some ass. Oh. Block prevents the access to the deeper bowels. Damn it. Fine. I'll make my way through here and I'll show you what I can do. Hmm. Alright, let's go down here first. Or. Okay, this seems like a pretty big. Oh, chest. Two pieces of Belial's meat? some of these are blacked out like that cures all negative status alterations okay so it's kind of like a panacea so luck tickets are healing and demon meat gets rid of ailments uh, <laughs> okay so if the world goes is, is okay so Shin Megami Tensei becomes an actual thing and we end up in the world where there's a bunch of demons at least we'll know which demon to go after in case we get sick what the oh Magnolia times three. A floating severed head. Yeah, no shit. HP 30, CP 10, light weakness against meat. So, I got Belial's meat. Do you want me to throw it at him? Ow! Alpha's blinded. Oh, that's why he's not doing any damage, because he's blind. Okay. Holy crap. I already the fact that I already need to go back and heal myself. Good lord. Okay, didn't realize I'm gonna have to spend some time grinding, aren't I? Revives a character. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting the basics here. Lux. Luck tickets are healing. That's also technically healing, and then that a Joker is a revival. 
Okay. Also, hmm. hmm. This music. It's like a steady beat being applied while somebody is lightly tapping the side of a metal trash can. And I mean that in a good way. Hmm. Ah, God damn it. All right, let's uh, kill the heads, I guess. Okay. Which ones? Alpha achieved level two? Good. Saturated string has been acquired. Saturated string. Oh, saturated string. Special attack with low impact. Okay. Kind of still wondering why the font is like, you can't really see it unless you hover over it. That's definitely weird. Maybe it's a way that I installed it? I'm, I'm working. I'm being productive. Sure you are. Whatever you say, buddy. Over here. Oh. What the fuck is that? January. Ghoul with a dusty breath. Light weakness against metal. HP 90, CP 50. What the fuck? Okay, where's February, April, March, July, June, July? Uh, where, the, where the fuck are they? Okay. Saturate stream! Well, you went down effectively. I need to go back into the saving heal spot. On top of that, maybe I should spend a little bit of time grinding too while I'm at it. Okay. Let's try to make a little bit more progress. I will give this in game credit. Some of the character designs are very uncanny. They're, I guess the word I'm looking for is they're in the uncanny valley territory of sorts. No, that's another thing. Alpha still did zero damage. Is it like some sort of random attack defense variable or something? might just be some sort of random attack variable. Okay. I will give this game credit. It's already getting me very intrigued. There's a door. But it seems to be locked from the inside. Hmm. So how do I get around to unlocking the door? For me. And batter leveled up to level 3. Save first base has been acquired. Okay. That must be a new skill. Save first base. Restore some HP. All right. Okay, cool. So the batter does have like his own healing skill. That that will come in handy. That thing that will definitely come in handy. Okay. Um. Over here. Okay. Okay. There is another thing over here. This block prevents access to the eastern bowels. Damn it! Let me enter the bowels. Hey. Eh? Hmm? Hi. What? Did you come from the smoke mines? Yes. But, but it's full of specters in there. Yes. Are you a specter? No. Then who are you? Have you been sent by the queen? Or by Dedon? Dedon? Okay, we're getting a lot of new names here. No. But, but, but you still know how to fight the specters. You... You could destroy them? Yes. Oh, that... That would be great. There... There are... Uh, specters in the large cow sheds. Cow sheds? Uh... Uh... Yes. Actual cow sheds or just a term for it? Um... You are here at the metal farmsteads of Pentel in the east of zone one. Oh, cows. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic rocks contained within the cadavers. 
I'm pretty sure there are no rocks inside of a cow. Or livestock in general. Well, then again, I'm questioning the logic of somebody that says that smoke is an element. And people are weak to meat? Okay. All the metal of poor quality is discarded, forming the ground we walk on. The rest is purified and processed to create objects. A part of it is also put into crates and sent to the other zones, so they have objects and soil as well, I suppose. Hmm. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. Me smoke and metal are elements? Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on, and they would sink and drown. There. And so, there are specters in the large cow sheds. I must purify the mines first. Uh, yes, but the cow sheds aren't that big, and, uh... It, it would be good if you took care of them fast, because the Queen's inspector is going to arrive at any moment. So please, c could you do the cow sheds first? All right. Uh, uh, great! Thank you! Uh, thank you so much! Uh, the cow sheds are over there, to the right. They aren't big at all, you'll see. It's going to be done super quickly. To the right, huh? What if I want to go left? Damn it! What's in here? Actual cows. I prefer working here over the smoke mines. At least you benefit from the outside air. What? I... One shouldn't get attached to animals. Once you are, it gets difficult to put your hands inside. Ew! Fucking hell, man, that's nasty. I kind of get what you're going for, but why? It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Hmm. These balls are heaps of processed metal, which are going to be sent to other zones. They're a metallic. I never would have guessed that metal bone balls would be metallic. You're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up. We're expecting the queen's inspector at any moment. Uh-huh. It's important to pay close attention to the nutrition of the animals if you want high-quality metal. I... There are five specters left in the cow shed. Alright, I'll get work. I'll get to work and get rid of them. Hello! What the fuck? That's a face only a mother could love. Fat Spectre. Baneful ectoplasmic incarnation. HP 50, CP 15, light resistance against smoke. Alright, let's tear it up. Domestic socket. We got this. Beach bubbles attacking? You fucking excuse me. Fat Spectre, Baneful Explosion, Incarnation, HP, Rights. What? I guess I'll just keep attacking them. Just keep attacking the speech bubbles. That was really weird. It started laughing and then its speech bubbles became immediate enemies. Okay, cool, okay, fine, sure, why not? There are four specters left in the cow shed. All right, just smack the shit out of them. Silver flesh. Delightful. What the fuck is silver flesh? Covers a moderate amount of CP. So, okay. Not really needing to because I've got a save spot that automatically heals me, so maybe I should go back out there real quick. Save my items. Alright. 
All right, let's get rid of these last three specters then. All right, let's go. More silver fletch. There is one specter left in the cow shed. Moo. All right, where is he? Oh, there he is. What the? Oh, 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 oh God. Okay, we got a puzzle here. Um. Okay. One. There we go. Oh. If you don't mind, this is probably going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. You're durable. Stop trying to hit me with a chronic migraine! Stop trying to hit me with a chronic migraine! I don't get blind because of migraines, goddammit! Just because it's blinding pain does not make it count! As I was saying... Alpha achieved level 3! Sweet! The cow shed has been purified. What's this? Teleport back to the cow shed's entrance? Eh, sure. Easy. Uh. uh I, 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 I'm really. Folks. <laughs> okay. Um, your ha your uh, everything is melted, good sir. Uh, uh, hmm. you don't look friendly, so uh. <laughs> oh, aren't you pitiful bastard? Uh, no, I. Yes. Has it been long since he went inside? I I don't know. No, of course you know nothing. I should have known. He... he will eliminate the specters. And how does he think himself capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks himself better than you? Better than the Queen? Uh, no, no, I don't think that. Shut it! I didn't ask for your opinion. You all think you're more intelligent than the others, but you are all the same. In any case, this is hardly important. The Phantom will erase that conceited individual. I... Uh, you... You think he won't? Of course not. Nobody here is capable of fighting the Phantoms, apart from the Queen's officers. If only you listened to me more often, you wouldn't keep making fools of yourselves. But... But then who... Who is going to destroy the Phantoms? I could have done it. But you don't deserve it. You're not a very good boss, are you? Too bad for you. You just have to take care of your problems yourselves. Uh, uh, no, p please. I'm leaving now. I'm returning to Alma. At least the people there are polite. They don't constantly cut you off. Please, please don't. Goodbye. Get out of my sight. Don't. No, I... Beg of you, get the fuck out of my way right this instant if you want to keep your position. Good God, you're not nice at all. Hey, how you doing? Who was that person? You, you're you alive? Yes. And, and the specters? The cow shed has been purified. That, you, you must be very lucky. Who was that person? That... That was Dadon. He's the Queen's Inspector. You mean Spectre? No. The Queen wouldn't employ a Spectre. He can't be one. But he's evil. I mean, to be fair, he's a bit of a... The way he's phrasing himself is a bit of a jackass, but it might just be a bit of a stretch to kind of say that he's evil. Granted, it does look like a steamroller went over his face. Realizing that's the second time I've ever compared somebody's face to being run over by a steamroller. I must destroy him. That's a jump. No, no, don't do that. He's an envoy of the Queen. I, uh, uh, you, you'd better go complete your work in the smoke mines. P please. In any case, he's an Alma. 
No one can go there without proper authorization. So please, return to the smoke mines. All right. Uh... Hmm. Okay, um... Hmm. This is... Off. I... I realize we can all make that joke here. Okay, so... A bit of a... Uh, I'm very confused, but I feel like that's meant to be a... Uh, I think that's probably the common experience playing this. Unless there's some people that started this off like, like, Oh, I know everything about this. I can figure this all out. In which case... Good on you. Okay, so I'm still kind of... So we got like two elements. I, I, unless I misinterpreted what they were saying. I know for a fact they stated that metal was an element. And it's there's like four major ones. And from that other dialogue that we saw, it seems like smoke is an element. So if it's smoke and metal, then I'm wondering what the other two elements are. Now, another thing that I'm a little bit interested here is not no no not, not confidence. Um None of that either. All right. The items themselves. I'm wondering if there's an actual, like, font issue that I'm having right here that I may have to try to fix. I don't know. But we got stuff like a Joker, which has a card. Belial's Meat, the flesh of a demon. Silver Flesh, which just has me concerned about whatever protect, or potentially has silver flesh. And Luck Tickets. Tickets healing health. It's... To say I'm very confused would be a bit of an understatement, but already it's got me intrigued. The music definitely is, it's out there. It's like a combination of random instruments that don't mesh well together, but they've actually made good music out of it so far. The battle music kind of puts me in the mind of, um, as soon as I hear that that trumpet, it kind of puts me in like the, uh, old the old style of music, like way, way, way many years ago. Hmm. That's the kind of feeling that I get from that. Also, I, what really adds to it is the whole thing that our character is like black and white. In single color, like, backgrounds and stuff. It's... Hmm. I don't know. I, I'll let you guys kind of... Well, don't, don't spoil shit for me. Please don't. But... I am actually very intrigued on this. It's just confusing enough to make me want to try to figure out more about it. It is just that level of confusing. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end it. So, if you all like this, be sure to let me know. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next video.